Hey guys, so I'm vlogging today and it is lunchtime. I'm making Doug a sandwich and I'm making myself a sandwich without the bread. But today is like the day of the storm apparently if you watch my last vlogs and it's like crazy windy and rainy outside. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen that all the time where you live, but we never get it. So yeah, and Doug's working from home today, so he's holding Annabelle right now if you're wondering where she is. But yeah, today we really have no plans to do anything. I know that sounds boring. Oh wait, I do have one plan. My hair is so crazy. I haven't washed it in like three days. But um, first off, I'm going to dye my hair, which reminds me. Second off, I really want Doug to find online the Fifty Shades of Grey. I think it's like the second one. I don't know what it's called. But yes, I am the girl that watches those, so... I really want to watch the, um, the new one. Lunch time. I wanted to show you guys this baby memory book that I got off Amazon. And I wanted to show it because I honestly forgot to get a memory book until recently. And I was so happy to find this one because first of all, it was like pretty affordable because sometimes they can be so expensive and it has everything I want in it. So if you guys don't know what these are, I'm sure you do, but they're basically like books that you keep um, like notes of, like record of everything that happens when Annabelle's a baby and a toddler so yeah I already started filling it out and I just need to print pictures for each page so this one's like your family tree and then um, I put a picture of me when I was little and then Doug's family tree and then him when he was little this is for like an ultrasound picture and I write about like when she was expected it has like a bunch of really cute stuff her birth and obviously you guys know I take pictures of everything so I have a lot of pictures to choose from to put in these spots and then it goes like to all her milestones zero to three months ten to twelve and then I talk about like all the stuff she likes, her favorites. So yeah, I thought it was really cute. And um, it has like all of her firsts, smiling, babbling, grabbing things, which obviously she hasn't done a lot of that stuff. So I'll just keep up with it. And yeah, so I will go ahead and leave the link to this one below. I think it's really nice and it's pretty affordable. Sideways up here, that this rain that's, or this water that's falling keeps hitting our door. Doug is like so intrigued by the, the storm out there. It's, it's probably storm. not even a storm, Doug. It's just rain for other people. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, so today I'm wearing a new foundation, which is like life changing because I never do. And I don't like it. It is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I had to put on like two layers for it to get any coverage. Fit Me? Fit me. Oh, I thought it was like Fit Me. No. Um, so yeah, I had to put on like two layers. First of all, it doesn't match my neck. Um, and second of all, it is not matte enough for me. So if you guys I mean, I'm kind of like over drugstore foundations because they just don't seem to like cover enough and be mad enough, except for the L'Oreal Infallible, love that one. But if you guys have any recommendations, I know I always ask this, but I don't think I've asked this for high-end foundations. If you have any recommendations that, um, that you know of, of foundations that are just as good as the Estee Lauder Double Wear, so like super matte, super, well, not super, but it's like high coverage. Actually, it's pretty super high coverage. Let me know. A ton of you guys were telling me to get the Tarp, or what am I saying? Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which is next on my list. So yeah, if you have any matte foundations, I really want to try them because I'm kind of like bored of using the same one over and over. I have heard that the It Cosmetics, I think it's like the CC Cream. I don't know which one, but I've heard that one's really good for like an everyday basis. But let me know if you guys have that one and if it's a good like mattifying foundation. Annabelle's just over here making noises. I wonder, actually, I don't even need to wonder. You're going to be very oily when you grow up. Yeah, she is. Because daddy is super oily and so is mommy. But that's okay. Oh, so sweet. Ooh. Look at that big belly. Who's got a big belly? Kickity, 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 kickity. Had to put pants on her today because it's raining. And socks because it's cold. So Doug's coworker just came over. And she freaking brought us brownies. Mm -hmm. These are so good. If you guys aren't on a diet and you want a Trader Joe's recommendation, that's totally not necessary, but you guys have to get these. I just had one, literally 220 calories for three. This will be my third. And they're called, okay, Doug, you're going crazy. Okay, sea salt brownie oh, petites. Look at that one. Oh, I just had one and it melted in my mouth. Also, Annabelle's asleep in Doug's arms. Doug, come back over here. I'm telling you, she really likes the rain. She's a rain baby. Yeah, she was born and it rained, and every time it rains, she's just so content. Mm -hmm. Doug just made a really good point. Go ahead, Doug. Well, if, it depends on how many calories you're supposed to have in a day. Some people have like a 2,000 calorie diet. I'm, which I don't means, know. Which means if you had 
Oh, you have to eat the whole thing. If you ate the whole box, you'd be done for your whole day worth of calories. If I had 12? Well, no, if you had... 12 is... What if is you that? Had, if you had 12, then you'd have... That's uh, four servings, so that's like 1,000 calories. Yeah. I could... Well, nor, like, honestly, if I was pregnant right now, I'd probably have like eight. So Annabelle just woke up from her nap. Didn't you? Doug's currently pretending to take a nap. <laughs> I'm getting there. And it's storming outside. She says, pick me up or I will throw a fit. What are you doing there? Now he's actually asleep. <gasps> you guys, the rain is real outside. It's coming down so hard. Look at that. Look at all that rain. Time to change you. I'm showing her outside. She loves to go outside. Doug is literally looking for our flashlights to make sure we have light for when he thinks the power is going to go out. You don't see how windy it has on the outside, but it's ridiculous right now. It looks sunny out there on the vlog. <laughs> so Doug and I have been doing a whole lot of nothing today. We watched The Office and that's it. No, Doug took a nap. Oh, that's loud. Right now we're making another healthy dinner. We're making hamburger, well this doesn't sound healthy, but the way we make it's pretty healthy. Hamburger sliders without the bun and a whole lot of veggies. So Doug's making sweet potato chips. Yeah. I just ripped off all of my gel nails. They literally lasted like a week and a half, which I feel like it's not long enough. So I'm gonna go and choose another color. This is my nail polish stash. Probably gonna go with something light. This is Essie's party on a platform. It's like a deeper red. A lot of you guys were telling me that like I should get, well two things. I should get a baby carrier. And the second thing was to get a baby swing. Cause I think I talked about it in my last vlog. Cause I mentioned that we always have to like hold her to sleep. Not all the time. Like she does sleep in here sometimes. Probably like once a day for like one nap, but that's about it. Um, I just don't know which baby carrier to get. I heard that the Ergo baby is like the best one, but it's like $180, like for a carrier. Is it a carrier or like one of those clipping things? It's a clip, yeah, I think it clips. So like it's, like you can have it too. It's not like a wrap. Ooh, I like that. Doug would pr pretty much wear her all the time. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm looking into that. And then a lot of you guys are also telling me that this rock and play actually comes with like an automatic like swinging thing. Right now I'm literally using my foot to rock her. So yeah, I'll probably get a swing eventually because I know she'll have, I don't know, she's not like that bad with her sleep, but it is, I don't know, she just doesn't sleep very much without me holding her. Huh, baby? Didn't sizzle the way I wanted it to sizzle. So Doug's coworker came over today and she was telling us about the daycares in the area. Holy, oh, and she was telling us, if you guys if you guys are new to my channel and you don't know where we live, or if you just, I don't know, are from a different area and just don't know about Los Angeles, but we live in LA and we live in the South Bay, so it's like by the beach, um, like Redondo Beach, Hermosa Beach, Manhattan Beach, and I know a lot of you guys actually live in this area. So yeah, basically anything along the coastline of California is just so expensive and it's where all the rich people live. Not saying that we're rich, obviously, but somehow we managed to live here too. I don't know how it happened, but yeah. So anyways, his coworker came over and was telling us that we should get on this wait list for um, like a, swim, an, a lessons. swim lessons. And I was like, I need to get on a wait list to like get swim lessons. She was like, yeah, it's a year wait list. And I was like, what is so amazing about this swim lesson class? Like, does it completely change your life? <laughs> like, to be on a wait list for a year? So yeah, obviously, I'm gonna do it because it must be good. She says it's worth it, so I'm gonna yeah. sign up. So when and Annabelle's like a year- It's supposed to be one of those classes where they, at the end of the class, they just throw the baby in the water and the baby can like turn I don't know about that, but if you guys don't know what we're talking about, you need to just search on YouTube. Like, I don't know what you would search, floating but- baby. Floating babies. Floating babies, <laughs> yeah. Because my mom showed me, because my mom's like so paranoid about everything. She wants us to be like ultra safe, obviously. But um, like seriously, my mom texted me yesterday. You're making a lot of rat. I said it again. Racket. Ratchet? Not ratchet. 
can't say anything. Okay, um, my mom literally texted me yesterday and was like, do you have any plans for going anywhere this weekend? Because it's the worst storm in 10 to 20 years. So I hope you're not taking the baby outside. And I was just like, mom, no, we're not going anywhere like usual. But she didn't want us to go anywhere because the storm. Okay, so my mom wants all of her grandbabies to get like swim lessons. So if they are near a pool or in the ocean or something, not they'd be in the ocean, but they could float on their backs. So babies are so smart that you could train them or like teach them to like float on their back. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. And I was joking with Doug. I was like, Doug, I don't think you can float on your back. <laughs> I can barely float on my back. I honestly don't even know if Doug can swim. But I can. He says he can swim, but I've never seen him. Oh my God, my eyelashes popped off. Um one of them don't worry but I've never seen him swim in an ocean that's what I want for my birthday even though it's February oh god <laughs> Doug hates the ocean so much I don't hate the ocean I like water I'm fine with the ocean it's sand and water I hate sand being stuck in it I know you hate sand so his co-worker was also telling us that like the prices for daycares in the area you might as well get a nanny. Yeah. And I went to like this mommy and me class and I was surrounded by all of these moms that like, they just, they're in a different lifestyle <laughs> than I have. And um, they were talking about how they have night nannies. About like nannies that literally, obviously watch their baby at night so they can sleep. And these women were stay at home moms. If you guys have a night nanny, it's not that I'm knocking you, because I'm I'm sure there's someone watching that has one. It's not that I'm knocking you, because that sounds like a really nice luxury to have. I just think that like, that's crazy. I didn't even know that existed. So this is what we're having for dinner. Looks so good. These are like our version of sliders. So we just have, I mean, this looks funny, <laughs> but they're just like pieces of lettuce, two little patties, some cheese and veggies and cherry tomatoes and sweet potato, which some, of them got a little burnt, but whatever, I'll still eat it. They still taste pretty and good. And I obviously have barbecue sauce because I eat it with every meal, pretty much. Yep. So Doug and I just filmed our Q&A, which is gonna go up before this vlog. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out on my channel. And right now, he is preparing to go work on his car in the rain. What are you guys doing, have a time? Yeah. Sounds like fun. Looking at herself in the mirror. She's like, who's that? Let me know if you want to come down. Okay. Love you. Love you. Come so you're on. Gonna edit your video. I am. Oh, come on, little baby. Love you. Love you. Have fun. Oh, good job. Oh, looks like she's not in the mood. Wow, what a strong girl. Oh, she's like, not today, mommy, not today. Annabelle loves, like, lights. I think this might be just, like, a baby thing, not, like, an Annabelle thing. But, like, the lights in our living room, she just, like, stares at them. A lot of you guys are like, oh, my God, she's so calm. And that's just because we don't film her when she's crying. But she is pretty chill. Like, she's making some cranky noises right now. Like that little noise. But usually she's crying when she's hungry. Oh, like right now, she probably wants to go to sleep. So let's take her in here. So it's like two and a half hours later and Doug is still working on his car, trying to like maneuver his transmission into place. I don't know what he's doing down there, but it's like pouring rain and he'll do anything to work on his car. So yeah, he's out there and it's like nine o'clock. Annabelle's waking up from her really long nap. But yeah, I thought I would end the vlog because, I don't know, I'm like so tired, but I know she's gonna wake up right now and be awake for like an hour or two. So I just need to suck it up. But I just realized before I filmed this clip that I do not get enough sleep. I mean, that sounds, I don't know. Obviously, that's obvious, but um, I just, I don't know. I realized that like I stopped taking naps during the day, which like I've always said, I'm not really like a big napper, but I feel like it's so necessary because she wakes up every two hours in the middle of the night and I usually stay awake for like 40 minutes because I'm pumping and I'm breastfeeding. So yeah, I'm just like so exhausted and I don't know how I'm like keeping it together, but it's kind of like hitting me all at once. So 
probably gonna have to start taking like one nap during the day whenever she sleeps because oh yeah that's like my best advice for like first time parents or just parent like new parents um because at least for me I completely forgot about like I don't know you don't really think about yourself when your baby's first born at least me and Doug didn't so we like never slept and it makes you crazy so definitely sleep when your baby sleeps especially for like the first two weeks it will save you a lot of like I guess just I don't know it'll just save your it will just basically save your sanity so yeah definitely do that I did not do that I like carried on like everything was normal and it just was not good so yeah anyways random tangent but yeah thank you guys so much for watching my videos and yeah thank you so much for all of your kind comments and all of your direct snaps and everything I really appreciate it because you guys know I love my YouTube channel and a lot of people always talk about how much they love their subscribers but if you guys have been watching me for a long time now you'll know that like it's gonna sound weird but I'm not a very emotional person like I don't really like tell people I love them besides Doug and he's and obviously Annabelle I don't really say it a lot like in general I know that's kind of weird so it's it would be hard for me to tell you guys that I like love you like a lot of youtubers do it's just unnatural for me but that's just me being real um, but I do really appreciate you guys and I seriously appreciate like every kind word you say and every email and you guys are always giving me the best advice so I love that so yeah I just had to throw that out there because I realize I don't say it enough but yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow bye guys Bye. Say goodbye. Oh, she's just waking up. Oh, she's crazy.